Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can delete data in Laravel using Ajax. So we'll delete data without reloading or refreshing our browser. So here you can see we just have a delete button over here. So first of all, let's go back to our code and here in the code here you can see we have the delete button. So right now first of all what we'll do is that we'll stop our browser from reloading. So for it we'll say over here inside this anchor tag inside this href we'll say javascript clone void to fast rocket and we'll say over here zero so this will stop our browser from reloading when we click the delete button so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here then if we click on the delete button here you can see the browser is not reloading let me just click again here you can see it's not reloading so right now let's go back and here for this anchor tag, we'll mention a on click event. So we'll say over here on click equal to here we'll mention a function name. Let's say our function name will be delete post. And with this function name, we need to give the ID of a certain row. So it means whenever we click on this delete button, it will we need to send the ID of this post. Okay. So for it, uh, here you can see. We use for each loop and here you can see dollar post using the dollar post we are getting the title and the image so using the dollar post we will also be able to get the id obviously so here inside this delete post we'll give two second bracket and here we we'll say dollar post arrow sign and we'll say here id so let me just write it like this so that you can see it clearly Okay, so here, first of all, we mentioned href, javascript void, it will stop the browser from reloading. And here, we are mentioning a function, delete post, whenever we click on this delete button. So right now, we'll uh, directly just go down, and here, we'll come to the, at the end of the body tag, and here, we'll say over here, script. Then inside this script, we'll say here, function, and we'll mention this function name, which is delete post. Let me just copy this from here, and I'll paste it over here then we also need to catch this id so here we just set id after it we'll give two second bracket so right now we'll just give a if condition over here we'll say over here if confirm we'll just show a alert message that adding sure to delete this let's say here are you sure to delete this so for this if condition we'll give two second bracket so right now if we save this and then if we refresh our browser and if we click on the delete button it will show us the alert that are should delete this let me just show you let's just refresh here and if i now click on this delete button here you can see it is showing us a message or pop-up that are should to delete this okay so let's go back and right now here inside this if condition we'll say over here dollar dot ajax then to first bracket and to second bracket and we write it like this and let's just keep over here the semicolon and here inside this we first of all need to mention the url name so here we'll just we can just give a random url name let's say the url name will be delete underscore post and here for the post we also need to send this id so here for that id we'll say over here plus id let's also give a slash over here after the post and here after the id we'll give a comma over here then we'll just go to the second line and here we'll set type clone type will be delete we'll write delete inside to single quotation we'll say over here delete so we only need to write those two lines after this we'll say over here if the delete is success we'll say over here success and we'll call a function over here and inside this function let's just say over here result and let's just keep two second bracket for now let's just keep this success empty uh, there is one more thing we need to is that uh, since we want to delete data and in laravel we need to mention the csrf token so here if someone confirm the delete then here we will mention the csrf token over here so i will just write this in the notepad over here so here you can see dollar dot ajax setup i will also give this code in the comment section so we'll be able to also copy it from the comment section so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it after this or inside this if condition you can also write it after the function that's fine as well so let me just write it properly so that it looks easier to you so after mentioning the csrf token over here we also need to mention the csrf token here you can see meta name csrf token content 
csif token we also need to mention this in the head section of our board so let me just directly go to the head section and here you can see we are in the head section and over here we will paste that meta name csif token content csif token okay so after this what we need to do is that uh, right now we need to go to our web.php and write this url or write this route so right now let's just go to routes then web.php and here let me just copy this control c control v so here we mention the type will be delete so here we'll say route delete and here instead of this on we'll say over here delete underscore post copy this paste it over here and we'll use the home controller and list the function name will be the same thing delete underscore post and since we are also sending the id from here so we also need to mention the id of over here as well so we say over here id so let's save this so right now let's go to our home controller and create this delete underscore post function so let's go to home controller and here we are going to say public function delete underscore post to first bracket and we'll cast the id over here dollar id then to second bracket so over here we just normally declare a variable first dollar data equal to we need to mention that table model name and my table model name is post tower clone find to first bracket dollar id so after this we can just say over here dollar data delete just the same way we normally delete in laravel so after deleting the data we need to return the response okay so we saw what here return response to first bracket we we'll return a json response we saw what here json to first bracket to third bracket and inside this third bracket we just saw what here success equal arrow sign true so for now let's just say this so right now let's save it over here then here and here as well so right now we should be able to delete the data successfully so let's just go to browser refresh here and right now if we just click delete and click ok over here as you can see it did not reload it over here but if we go to a database table and here you can see we have three data over here and if we now refresh here you can see there is only two data over here and if we also just refresh over here there is there is only two data over here but when we delete the data we want that data to be deleted and also removed from here so for this what we do is that let's go back to our code and here we just directly go to the over here you can see inside the for each loop we are basically showing the data and here you can see inside the table row we have called that td so of for this table row we mention an id over here for this id we will say over here tr underscore you can basically name it anything but after this we will give to second bracket and here we are going to mention this dollar post then this arrow sign and we'll get the id for the post for a specific post so tr underscore post id so after this we'll go to our home controller and then here from this home controller after this true we'll give a comma over here we'll give two single quotation then we'll say over here tr equal to is greater than two single quotation we'll say over here tr underscore here you can see tr underscore and here we also mentioned tr underscore after this we'll say our give our here a dot and here you can see dollar id so we can just directly write this dollar id over here so it will send a specific id from here and this id this tr will be received from the from this view uh this as a success okay so here inside this success we'll say our here dollar to first bracket to double quotation and inside this we'll say our here hash then we'll say here hash plus result to third bracket and we'll cast a tr this tr will come from the home controller or from here okay and we need to keep this tr inside to single quotation then we'll say over here dot slide you will capital slide r to first bracket slow and we need to keep this slow inside to double quotation or single quotation and in between the semicolon so basically what it will do is that whenever we try to delete any data it will get that id and 
it will send it uh, using this tr variable and it will be catch here you can see result this result is this one it will be catch over here and here we are mentioning this hash hash means uh, basically we are uh, mentioning the specific row over here and slide up means uh, it slide up slow means it will be removed slowly okay so i hope i am clear but don't worry i'll also give this code in the comment section as well so let's save this and let's just refresh over here and right now let's click over here delete and if we now click ok it will delete the data here you can see it deleted the data and the browser removed the image without reloading the page so this is how you can delete data in laravel using ajax i hope you find this tutorial easy and simple if you have any question or problem you can always let me know in the comment section and if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe this channel and i will also appreciate this as well thanks again for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials